Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome to the second of my post-game videos for Lord of the Night and the Heroes of Seven Worlds. I took the time to rearrange my party off-screen, and I put the difficulty back on Paradox too. Uh, I mentioned last time that Datsuko was pretty easy, and that's because it was still on very easy from the Esta Morun fight. But anyway. I went and searched the whole world over for new events, and this is the first thing I found. Unfortunately, the Y Rabbit is completely unresponsive, so it's just a bug. But that's not all. Here we come over here to Saloon, to the Tartarus, yet another one. Now you can't get into this Tartarus, and if you want to steal from the enemies or recruit enemies in there, well, maybe in the Demon Castle you could find those particular enemies again, but not here. And just to be completionist about it, oops, wrong one, and just to show you the last place where an unresponsive white rabbit is going to show up. Here she is. Such a pity. Anyway, I found these three, but I actually had to look online to find out where to go next because I was operating on an incorrect assumption. I'll get to that in a moment. This feeling. Luca, did you notice? The presence of the Demon Castle 2 in Romanza. As expected, it's still connected to this world. I can feel the flow of, the ma of energy here. It's over here. So we follow the flow of power into a corner of the city. This is... a gate to the demon castle, huh? Those who can sense it and actually enter it seem to be only us. Well, let's give it a shot. As expected, it does connect here. But this feeling... Any further than this, the land of the night isn't going to spread. With the big fight we had back then, the great gate that connected the land of the night was... well, it disappeared. And that itself, we can think of it, we can consider that the Demon Castle itself was unharmed. This gate, it can't be sensed or used by anybody other than us. The townspeople aren't going to accidentally wander into it. So you don't need to worry about that. So then, if we leave this place alone, everything will be fine. Say, wouldn't Fulbua and Gilgorn happen to be in here? That possibility is highly likely. We can't leave those two to their own devices. Let's search in here. Is what she says, but I'm not going to just yet. Like I mentioned in the last video, we can't actually recruit them yet. So we are here to start an event line by speaking to Queen Grandanoa. You probably know this already, but we've made Musette and her 
two companions, wanted criminals for serious crimes. We've sent wanted posters to all the kingdoms and prepared reward money, but considering the strength of the opponent, we're not, we can't expect that they'll be captured. <laughs> that is so, I agree. Really can't think that there'd be people strong enough to capture those types. Just getting to them close, just getting close to them, even if on accident it's dangerous. Honestly, the wanted posters are basically just for gathering information. But it seems that there has been some actionable info that's come in. Those three, if they were to go and try and blend in somewhere, could they perhaps be in Grand Noah? After all, they say that the criminal returns to the scene of the crime. Are you an idiot? Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, even if they transform themselves into someone else, to maintain the transformation forever would... To maintain the transformation continuously would tire them out. They would want to pick a... Yeah. In order to... They would want to avoid the situation where they would normally have to continue being transformed. Considering their particular appearance, if they were to try and blend in somewhere, wouldn't they try Snow Heaven? The Village of Angels, huh? Musette and her companions are, strictly speaking, not angels, but going by their appearance, they could pass for angels. All right. Let's go to Snow Heaven. And further, we've gotten information on a mysterious exorcist. She took the request to to eliminate Musette and left on her journey, it seems. The exorcist's appearance was with a greenish child, they say. Her characteristics closely resemble somebody for whom you are searching. No way! Daimyo me! Most likely. She's probably up to something, as usual. So Daimyomi as well is following Musette's group. According to what we've heard, she too will cause disturbance if we let her. So, the Musette group, which is trying to blend in somewhere, go undercover, and further, the one chasing them, Daimyomi. It looks like this could get troublesome. Anyway, let's go to Snow Heaven. There's a possibility that Musette is hidden here. 
Let's go talk to the chief. Well, I am. Oh. What business do you have here? There's a bit of some... There's a bit we'd like to hear from you. We've got a few questions that we'd like to ask you. So we talk about Musette with her. Well, on that topic, there is something that comes to mind. At the Snow Shrine, there's been a testimony for a, of a strange sighting. An angel that we've never seen, or rather angels we've never seen before, are inside of the shrine. That's the report that I've received. So, is that Musette? We should consider that possibility. Alright, next up, the Snow Shrine. Snow Shrine is east of the village. And there, maybe Musette and company are hiding. Ah. There's something... There's a strange presence, I feel. Have Musette's group set a trap? No. It's... It seems something different than that. Ooh, ah! Promising! This is... A gate into other space? But just why is it here? And furthermore, just promising was. Ooh, ah. You just said that twice in a row, promising. What's up? <clears throat> I mean, what happened? Just what's going on? Well, I've kept you waiting quite a while. But somehow I've come back. It. Um. Could it be that no time at all has passed? Whatever you're talking about. From when you disappeared to when you came back out, it was on the order of several seconds. I see. In that world, the progress of time is different. No. Other world time experiences doesn't count here. So just what happened? Did you spend a lot of time in another world? It, what is it? Promistine is looking at Vyakunin and smiling. This is unlike Promistine. A warm gaze. Just what happened? It's a secret. By knowing... By you guys knowing it, the flow of history would change. And that's troubling. I see. She's keeping it to herself in order to keep our general crisis from getting worse. But it doesn't look like she's going to be telling us what happened. It seems like she had some adventure in another world. Huh? Promising, that thing you're holding. That's a talisman from Malhorova, isn't it? 
Could it be you went to our world? <laughs> it's a souvenir. Is she usually so infuriatingly uh, opaque like this? Inscrutable. There we go. No, no, she's usually an open book. Well, come. With this, let's continue our adventurous journey. Uh, yeah, let's do so. Probably. Promisine headed to the Mahorovas world. And there's no way for us to know what she did there. Anyway, let's continue our adventurous journey, as she says. Let's search out the Musette group, who's hiding here. And this is all the hint we're going to get about what happened. Apparently not just Promacine, but a slime, a harpy, and... I forget what kind of bug that is in the back. I doubt it's Lime and Reina and our bug in particular, but it could be. You might want to consider this game. I'll put a link in the description, I guess. It might be a an expansion on Byakunin's game, or it might be a standalone game. I'll do a bit of research and, again, the description. No way, this is. There's no mistaking it. It's the work of Daimyomi. This is a barrier that only humans can pass. What should we do? Shall we break through it by force? Alice concentrates power into her fist, but... Hey, hey! Don't go punching a hole in this in this uh, perimeter net that I finally set up. Daimyomi, so it was you. It's the youth and the only hag. You're here too. I'm working here. So butt out. Eh, that's what you say, but we can't do that. You're also from the... from another world. And you have a tendency to do things flashy, and that's troublesome. From the deeds in Daimyomi's past... Oh, yes. We've heard the deeds in Daimyomi's past from Byakunin and Magatsu. If we leave her alone, she's sure to stir up another riot or something. There's no doubt about it. As for handling Musette and them, leave it to us. After all, you are... In the end, you're going to interfere with my work, so I'm going to be hunting you guys first. More and more, she just doesn't listen to reason. Daimyomi, you are an exceptionally skillful exorcist. But, you by yourself, are you thinking you can win against all of us? Jeez, this can't be helped. This isn't a good that I had prepared to use against you, but... And from Daimyomi's pocket, she, pocket, she pulls out a steel whip. It is, without a doubt, 
some kind of treasure. That's no way. The Dashin Pin. It's a treasure from Yamatai, though it's said to be lost hundreds of years ago. That's a, a famous weapon. In the Great Holy Wars, Saja created it. It has the power to destroy angels and such. Hey! I'm troubled that you're surprised at only this. If you're the Ma'o, then you recognize this sword as well, right? So, Dainomi pulls out a sword that shines with a godly light. No way. The Sanda Hoken. How could you have such a treasurous weapon when you've only just come to this world? <laughs> I told you before, didn't I? I have an eye for treasures. But more. Still more. I've got more. That and that and this and that. Daimyomi equips herself with various secrets, no, various treasures. They're all weapons and armor that hold great power, without a doubt. The Banten in the Keise Genjo, further, the Kinrobo Fukarin. Just how many treasures have you collected in this world? Of course, I've researched all of the history. The Great Library of San Ilya in Yamatai Village and in Snow Heaven. So, I, having affixed myself, with the treasures of this other world have surpassed Dai Myomi. I am now Shin Myomi. Shin Myomi. It's like you're pulling a name out of the dictionary. Well, if we don't defeat her here, She's going to be the source of a calamity. Everybody, lend me, lend me your power. I guess my Gatsu feels a bit responsible for taking care of this problem. Yes, come at me all together. I'll show you the power of Shin Miyomi. Yeah, the power of Shinmyomi. Half of my party had to take turns to beat her. <clears throat> I'm not done yet. This level of... Daimyomi goes to swing the... Dashinpen. That was the steel whip. But from the damage in battle... It collapses. Falls apart. <laughs> Damn it! Alright, give it up already, Daimyomi. After all, we fought together once. And if I were going to fight against you guys, I should have collected three times the treasures that I already did.
<laughs> that I, of all people, would be insufficiently prepared. Jeez. These other worlds simply break all the rules. Ah. So she's finally given up. So, what do we do with her? Do we tie her up and throw her into a prison? We don't need to go that far, do we? The people we... The enemies we came here to fight was, originally, Musette. In this girl's head, there's no mutual understanding with the monsters. If we leave her alone, she's going to... She'll eventually start hunting monsters that are blameless. So then, how about we hire Daimyomi to assist us? Oh, you want an exclusive contract? I don't particularly like being tied down to one work, but... You should want to return to your world. If you're with us, that opportunity will come to you. Hmm. In order to return to the world I was in originally. Huh? Very well. I'll let you hire me. But you should know I'm expensive. Meh, good enough. Ah, <sighs> jeez. So it came to this. Well, I'm going to confiscate all of your collected treasures. Unfortunately, all of the treasures can't be used by anybody else. I've used strengthening formulas on each of them and reconfigured them so that they are exclusively usable by myself. In other words, it's already so they can't be used by anybody other than Daimyomi. What have you done to the treasures of this world? And the Dashimfen itself is in pieces. From the state of damage, fixing it would be impossible. But there's a power, a mysterious power, that emanates off of the fragments. And we get the Dashimfen's fragment. Well, like this, it's unusable as a weapon anymore. But even though it's reduced to this state, there's magic power remaining in it. In any case, we've solved the problem with Daimyomi. After this, it's Musette's group. Ahead of here, there's Musette waiting for us. If you want me to lend you power, then if you're having me lend you your lend you my power, then use it as you like. Well, at least they aren't hard to find. Use it. This time for sure, I'll tie you up. So you sniffed us out here. You've been in a frenzy searching about for about for information, haven't you? Hmm. <laughs> Did you want to be to be played with us that much? If you'd just asked, we would have played with you ruinously.
I won't be I won't be tempted by the, your words no matter what I'll resist to the end why don't you become our servant if you obey meekly we'll reward you amply huh there's no other way We've got to do this. Let's go, Bell, Lyra. Yes, Lady Musette. <laughs> Let's play. Let's see how many characters they can get to move. Mini one, mini two, puppy one. One and a half characters. They were even weaker than Dai Miomi. And they give crappy drops. Angel feather food, angel feather food. Elixir, food. I can get food anywhere, jeez. Victory is ours. Huh. To win, and more than that, to control you guys. Perhaps being too focused on that was the cause of our defeat. No way. We've lost again. What will you do with us? Naturally, we're giving you to Grand Noah. You're serious criminals there. You're staying in prison for a good long time. Actually, in regard to that, it's impossible to be throwing these girls into prison. My country's soldiers can't resist their brainwashing power. That's true. In a human prison, they can't really be bound, considering the powers they have. So, in that connection, in connection with that, we want to entrust the watch and the management of them to you. The ones who can actually contain them are none other than yourselves. Understood. We're going to take custody of this Musette group. It's too dangerous to send Musette to Grand Noah. As expected, the best plan is to watch over them from, is to keep them with us and watch closely. So, about how we're going to dispose of you. Should we bind you up as prisoners or or take us as companions and have us contribute in battle? Right? Mm-hmm. That's right. So, which is it? It's insolent, but we have no other choice but to accept. So that being the case, from now on, we're companions. We shall do as you say. Lady Musette. We shall follow and obey. Lady Musette. So then, we'll be joining hands going forward. <laughs> Musette's joined our party.
because it's Lady Musette's order, there's no other choice. I'll come along with you. Belle joins the party. <laughs> Take good care of us. New companions. And Lyra joins. Musette, if you try anything strange, I'll cut you down. Don't forget that I'll always be watching you. Same back at you. We will always be watching you. Don't forget. Jeez. And now we're stuck with these troublesome group. This troublesome lot. We gotta make sure that they don't take our necks while we're sleeping. Anyway, with this, another incident has decided. We need to chase down the location of the other Alliance members. So that's that for this time. Once again, I got this feeling like I'm forgetting something, but maybe you'll see it next time. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. <laughs>